Hello, I'm Roger Webb and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to make um, this uh, wooden pot. It's actually oak. Um, it's a tree that was cut down on our property about two years ago. This part of the limb, uh, which is actually left over from making this, um, this pot, uh, is a continuation of this limb. And these are the only two parts that I have left. Um, but it's beautiful wood. You can see the, you know, the sort of wavy sort of markings right through the wood. And um, it's come out with quite a presentable finished item. So I hope you enjoy it. So what I've done with this piece of wood, and it's a beautiful piece of wood. This is uh, Tasmanian oak. And you can notice here that the, the rings are very, very tightly packed. And uh, why I picked this piece of wood, if you notice the, the actual patterns in the outside, the swirling sort of wavy patterns of the actual wood, because the back is off this. And um, I think this is going to make quite a nice piece. So I've Put it between centers and um, well we'll see if we can uh, make a quite a nice pot out of this one. Uh, I'm just gonna use my roughing gauge now just to uh, knock off some of the corners on the outside here. Um, you might get a bit of wind noise through this um, during this video rather. Um, there's a gale started to blow outside but uh, we'll do the best we can. Beautiful wood. Okay, I've just start to neck this down. This is the base here. Um, I've still got a couple of areas here to take out, but uh, and what I'm trying to do is just um, taper this down a bit because I want a wide um, open top and a narrower base. And uh, as soon as I get this waste material away and I'm down to a shape that I'm sort of fairly happy with I'll um, I'll then start to uh, flatten the back side off and um, put a tenon on so I can turn it around and put it in my top.
Um, sometimes you, I find it easier to make your own tools um, to do a certain job. Now I have to put um, a reverse taper in here to fit my jaws of my chuck and uh, I can't really get more. Well, I don't feel comfortable getting any of the uh, wood turning tools in there to do it so I've just turned up an old screwdriver um, to perform that task for me. Um, it does a number of jobs. I use it to uh, I got this slightly rounded and it's angled back and um, it cuts the inside uh, does a nice smooth cut so let's cut this taper doing now is taking a, a bit of the material off the, the back side here to make it nice and even and you can see there that it's uh, at least uh, oh, whew, three quarters of an inch out of even. Um, I've just actually sharpened my tool because I noticed it was a bit blunt now. I don't know where this is the quick correct way of sharpening a pattern off tool but what I have found is if you keep this side flat and if you notice this face of the tool is slightly rounded so this would be the top side and that's the back or bottom side and I find that it peels off the um, the chips rather nicely like that I, as I, like I say I, I don't know whether it's the correct way but uh, it's the way that I find that works quite well so here we go And now for the, I think, most difficult job, and that is to scallop out the inside. Um, now the, the proper tool to use is uh, obviously a ball gouge, but someone said to me once that you use any tool in your arsenal to get the job done. And uh, well, that's what I normally do. So you may see me using a tool which isn't normally used for um, gauging out the inside so here we go.
Whew, this is very, very hard wood. <laughs> now you can see it's all coming out powdery. But uh, I think it'll be quite nice. Um, you also notice that I leave the stem in the middle uh, as long as I can anyway. We're coming to the point where it becomes more of a nuisance than a help. Uh, really just to support this end. Uh, but the deeper I go, um, more load sort of goes onto the chuck. So I can, I can remove this. Um, I'm getting close to that point, but uh, I think I can go a little bit more. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the making of this uh, this little pot and uh, I hope you tune in to uh, my YouTube channel which if by pressing on the little red box up there it will take you straight to my YouTube channel and um, well you can have a look see if you like something and please subscribe or press like and if you do like please Forward my videos on to your, your friends because it all helps. So, thank you for watching and bye for now.